So a lot of you guys are telling me that this is not a good time to study abroad simply because as you can understand the job market is a bit stunted. It's difficult to get jobs right now, not worth it many people say. Is it the case that you should put your journey on hold right now? That's what I'm going to be discussing with you in this video. Understand this guys, it is a huge expense that you're taking on when you go forward with studying anywhere basically. It's not just US, Canada, it can be anywhere. Most of you guys take on hefty loans, massive loans. And on top of that, when it comes to return on investment, you're not getting jobs. So I understand when you say that, hey, I'm not exactly comfortable studying at this point overseas because it's a huge investment and might, I might not get my return. But let me tell you about a trend. So in 2022, the trend was that, hey, it's COVID time and should I actually go ahead and study at this point? Because, you know, COVID was there and we were not sure essentially what's going to happen in the future. But understand this, the market was booming. In 2022, th that was the best market we had seen before the, the recession, before everything hit, right? And after that, take a look at this image. This is about the tech layoffs essentially that started happening. 2023, massive number of layoffs happened. Lots and lots of people lost their jobs. Why? Because companies had taken on so many people in 2022, simply because they were getting funding that when the funding stopped and it dried up, they did not have the money to actually continue hiring these people. Hence, they fired them all. And that is the important part, guys. Understand this, that at that stage, what people were talking about was, is 2023 a good time to study because tech layoffs are happening? Now, people, when they're in 2023, they're not exactly getting their jobs right now because most programs will finish off in two years. They're going to be looking for jobs in 2025. And the job market is already starting stabilizing, as you can see. Layoffs are not happening in 2024. Things are looking better. Yes, getting a job is still a bit difficult, but layoffs have stopped. That's how the market stabilizes. First, you know, the people who have jobs should continue to have jobs and then new people will go ahead and start getting jobs in the market. And hence, my advice would be, don't put your education on hold because you can't predict the future. That's what's happening, as you can see. And you know what? 2024, people are talking about lack of jobs. 2025, they're going to be talking about, hey, now Trump is there, should we go at this point or not? But if you think about it right now, take a look at this clip. What I want to do and what I will do is you graduate from a college I think you should get automatically as part of your diploma a green card. And that includes junior oh. colleges too. Anybody graduates from a college, you go in there for two years or four years. If you graduate or you get a doctorate degree from a college, you should be able to stay in this country. Trump has promised green cards to all students that are studying in the US, everyone. So maybe it's a good thing for you, right? So sometimes things might work out in your favor. So my advice is don't put your career on pause, focus on a couple of things. Number one is to upskill yourself. You should know what's going on. You should be good at what you're doing. The next thing is to focus on the top most universities. Get into good universities so you don't face these issues altogether. And finally, what you guys don't do is networking. Focus on networking simply because it's really the part that we, from our part of the country, you know, we, we don't really focus on. We focus on grades, competitiveness, all these things. But networking, some of you guys don't really learn it. It's important that you go ahead, put yourself out there and network with people because those are the people that are going to get you the jobs. That's how it works. So again, I advise is to not put your journey on hold. Don't think that this is a bad time to study overseas. In fact, the market is going up. Things are looking good. All right. Move forward. Get started. Start applying to universities. And uh, yeah, take on the journey and do your best. If you need any advice at any point in time, reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. My WhatsApp number is in the description. And of course, share this with anyone who needs to know. Thank you so much.